neither will they abridge freedom of speech. This wasn't so the porn stars could express themselves. The founders came from a system that permeated the entire world. The average slub back then, you, you had no say. You needed to be a duke or an earl or a king, wear a fancy wig to have anything to say. The First Amendment not only gave the schlub a seat at the table, but it put that schlub at the head of the table. You are in charge, not the king. It was radical. Also, couldn't abridge the freedom of the press. Oh, the press. Why would they do that? because they had this cute little idea that the press would stay independent. The founders knew that power corrupts. That's why the Constitution is a charter of negative liberties. Much to the president's chagrin, I'm sorry, President Obama, but that's the way it is. It says what the government cannot do to you. It will never take these rights away from you. That's a good thing. The press is in the First Amendment because and the off chance that a government might become too bloated, too powerful, out of control, you'd have an outside force coupled with these people. And they would hold the government accountable. You know what happened? The press first ripped these people apart, and then the press went, wait a minute, wait a minute, I think they're right. What else is in this? The press, it's freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and the right of the people to peacefully assemble. Can you imagine today an America that didn't have the Tea Party? I know there's a lot of people going, yeah, I can. Most of them are at the White House, which is strange, but imagine the president had no roadblocks. Nothing stood in his way. He could pass whatever he wanted. The only thing slowing him down are the peaceful assemblies of the Tea Party and at least this building in the press. It's pretty amazing. You and one building full of journalists. That's it. And look at the difference you've made. And then the last thing, First Amendment. This is the most important stuff and the petition to petition the government for redress of grievances. What does that mean? Is that like people at PETA are allowed to get signatures? It means you have a right to say, what the hell are you doing? That's your right. But with every single one of these rights, there's an implied responsibility. You have a right to religion. Practice any faith. Don't kill people in the name of 